So Samsung is doing a good job with the Galaxy A56 but fans may still not be satisfied. See after the flagship S series, the Galaxy A series is the most anticipated device from Samsung. Today we have officially received the benchmark score of the upcoming Galaxy A56 5G. The phone has appeared on Geekbench 6 listing with a model number revealing a single core score of 1353 and multi core score of 3832. This is slightly better than the Galaxy A55 powered by the Exynos 1480 SoC. The Exynos 1580 has 8 CPU cores, 1 prime core at 2.91 GHz, 3 mid cores at 2.60 GHz and 4 small cores at 1.95 GHz. It looks like the chip will have a OnePlus 3 Plus 4 architecture aiming to improve performance compared to the Exynos 1480 chipset with the 4 Plus 4 architecture in the previous model. It also reveals 8 gigs of RAM and Android 15. We will have to wait for the GPU benchmark score to find out how the XClip 540 GPU compared to the XClip 530 GPU as it will likely use RDNA 3 architecture compared to the RDNA 2 in the predecessor. Additionally, the Exynos 1580 is said to have an improved NPU that can handle Galaxy AI features and compete with the flagship Snapdragon 888 CPU. Despite all this, many fans may still not accept this phone because it has the Exynos chip. People are demanding that Samsung use the Snapdragon CPU in the A-series for better and smoother performance. Even I think Samsung should consider using the Snapdragon CPU for the A-series phones. It seems like the Galaxy A-series has lost some of its reputation in the market compared to a few years ago. Chinese brands are now offering better features and specs than the A-series phones which has caused Samsung to lose some users in the mid-range market to these brands. Moving on, so we don't have all the details yet but it looks like the Galaxy A56 could have a 6.7 inches Full HD Plus Super AMOLED LTPO display with a 120Hz refresh rate. The camera setup on the Galaxy A56 might include a 50MP plus 25MP plus 8MP setup on the back and a 32MP front camera for some solid photo and video quality. And with a 5500 mAh battery that support up to 25W wired charging, you will be good to go all day long. While the Galaxy A56 is shaping up to be a promising mid-range device with the impressive specs and performance, it's clear that Samsung still has some work to do to fully satisfy its fan base. The inclusion of the Exynos 1580 chipset, though an improvement over its predecessor, might not be enough to sway those who are craving a Snapdragon experience. As we eagerly await the official launch of the Galaxy A56, we can only hope that Samsung will continue to refine its mid-range offerings and deliver a device that not only meets but exceeds the expectation of its loyal customers. Let me know what you think of this Galaxy A56 in the comments below. With that being said, subscribe if you like and I will see you in the next one.